So you will want to try to understand what this word chosen means. Now the word chosen is a very interesting word in the Greek which means picked out. It means select. It means elect. It's a very interesting word. Picked out. Select. Elect. Now the idea from this Greek word is the word favorite. Now favorite is not in the sense that I prefer Felix to Adiki. You know, in our human language, when we say you are my favorite, it means that like I like you better than all other people. Like on my wife's one, she has named me favorite. So I am favorite. Don't 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 start getting jealous. You to go and name yours favorite. Select. Uh, someone says select. <laughs> Now, the word favorite here is a very interesting word because this word is an indication that you have obtained favor or liking, especially because you are loved. So this is the idea of being chosen. The idea of being chosen is that God picked you out. But what made God pick you out is the fact that God loved you. And because he loves you so specially, but... But your sin is actually a hindrance to him. Because God loves you so specially, he released favor on you so that now he will be attracted to you and then pick you out of where you are and bring you to become a part of his kingdom. Can you imagine that? At first when God looked at you, he saw an enemy. He saw someone who had despised him. He saw someone who had rejected him. He saw someone who did not want to have anything to do with him. Then he says, no, but I still want you. I want you to become a part of my family. And because I love you so much, but because you have despised me, I can't draw you in. So I am the same God who is going to release favor on you so that when I see you, instead of passing judgment, now I like you so much that I draw you from where you are and I bring you to myself. Can I tell you that God has chosen you? God has chosen you. God loves you so much he dispenses favor. That favor is called grace. And that grace is what made God save you. That grace is what made God pull you out of where you were. Out of that miry clay where you were sinking and he brought you into his kingdom. It is that grace that made God pick you from your mess and now gave you a message. It is that grace that made God pick you out of your field and cleansed you and made you a righteous person. Touch your neighbor and tell the person chosen. Now, this word chosen means elect. It's not just a matter of select. It's a matter of elect. And you and I know that when we talk about election, there is a voting. There is a voting such that it is the majority that favors whoever is being elected, right? So, if we are voting for Emmanuel J against um, someone. Now, now, assuming I stood for presidency today and I know you all vote for me. You all vote for me. <laughs> There's a right now in this country. Anyone can stand for election and win. <laughs> no, no. If, if I was going to win the election, I needed a majority on my side. As long as I got the majority, I will be elected. Now, when the Bible says that God has chosen you, do you know what it means? It means that there were many factors that were fighting against your being saved. There were many factors that were fighting against your salvation. In fact, your sins in the past were fighting against your salvation. It's like you can't be saved. Your family people were fighting. You can't be saved. The altars in your family were fighting. You can't be saved. In fact, opinion leaders around you think that as for you, you can't step in church. You can't be saved. But do you know what? All of those votes, God said, okay, let's see all those who vote against their being saved. All of them raise their hands. All the sins and all the people raise their hands. God says, let's see all the people who vote in favor of her being saved. The Father says, I represent. The Son says, I represent. The Holy Spirit says, I represent. The millions of angels says, if God represents, we have no other option. We back this. And God says, the majority has won it. This person must be saved. Can I tell you, people of God, that before God ever trusts you, the majority is on your side. So the fact that you are seated here and saved today means that there is nothing that can speak against the progress of your life. I, I want you to live here knowing that the majority is on your side. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, you have God on your side. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are on your side. The angels have no other option. They are on your side. The saints that have departed are on, oh, come on. They are on your side. The last time I checked, the angels that were drawn out of heaven were one third. So even the angels are enough to be the majority. But they are not the only ones. The saints that have departed are on your side. God is on your side. So he says, when he says you are chosen, it means that the election took place and you want a majority. <sighs> ah, ah, that is why from today, if anything is fighting against your life, rise up and say, I am elected. <laughs> tell the person that uh, whatever is fighting against your life, tell yourself, I am what? I am elected. I anything you feel like you are defeated and everything is rising against you tell yourself i am elected oh come on come on you tell yourself what i am elected you know